Hi, this is Brother Andrew. Today I'll be talking about how to download and use a libzip file downloaded from the eLearning Brothers Camtasia Templates Library. Once you've logged in to your Camtasia account or your eLearning Brothers account, we'll go ahead and go to the Camtasia Templates uh, page. We'll go to themes. We're going to look at a theme. Um, for today, we'll go ahead and work with the Lush theme. So you pick the one that you want. This is a nice one. Uh, it looks really nice and, and has some good music. Kind of a psychedelic sort of theme going on there. Anyway, we'll want to download the usable Camtasia Library Object LibZip. Um, this is what we're going to want to download. You can also get the source files if you want to uh, see how it was made or make adjustments to some color aspects or anything like that. But for now, we'll go ahead and download this library object, this libzip. It's downloading right here. Um, so now I'll bring up Camtasia. And I'm going to go to my library, which is right here. And I'm going to want to import that library object into my library. I want to navigate to my downloads where I just downloaded that libzip. It's right here, the lush libzip theme. And I'll click and drag it over here into my uh, library. Now Camtasia is going to ask me if I want to import the zipped library files. We'll click yes. And now they're, they're right here, theme hyphen lush. And if you pull that open, you see all of the pieces of, of that theme. There's the callouts. The, uh, the half overlay, here's the lower thirds overlay, five different layouts, a title, and if you double click those it shows you what that's going to look like. And also the transition, so let's take a look at this transition. Okay, it's kind of a little burn in and burn out, so that, that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and insert uh, this lush title into the timeline. What it does is it puts it in as a group. Um, and it looks like uh, the sizes are a little bit different. Uh, the text isn't fitting there, so we'll go ahead and right click on this and ungroup it. Now you can see everything that's inside that title. Everything and how, how, it, how it's built and how each piece works. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And find out where that, where that text is. Looks like there's uh, several groups in here already. I bet you the text is in the top group. Looks like it is. Text right here. I'm just going to pull that open. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Okay, that's way too small. Let's try 40. Oh, also too small. Let's try 100. There we go. Looks nice. Just like that. I can regroup those if I want so that they look the same. And now when you push play, there it is. It's all set. Looks like we got some nice animations here. That is a nice title. Okay, now assuming that we want to put this over a video, let's import a video. Put it on our timeline. Now this is a person talking. Let's go ahead and remove its audio. This is a person who's going to be giving a short speech. Let's go ahead and remove that. And we'll want a lower thirds. Now since we downloaded the entire theme, I know that there is a lower thirds in here. Let's say I didn't want the title. Let's say I only wanted the lower thirds. I can either pull it out of the, out of the theme, or when I go to download it, I know Lush is right here. It's called a Lush Camtasia theme. So let's go to the overlays. We want to find the Lush overlay lower thirds. Right here. Lush Camtasia overlays. So if we open up that overlay, this will include both the half and the lower third. So I could just download that as a libzip, as a library object, and only insert that and not have to worry about uh, the entire theme. But as we did download the entire theme, we'll go ahead and drag this lower thirds on top of here. And let's see how that looks. 
Okay, looks like it's a little high. Go ahead and pull that down to where it should be. Right about there. There we go. Now, I don't want it to say lower thirds text. I'd like it to say his name. So we'll go ahead and ungroup this. And I bet you the text is in that top group again, so we'll ungroup that as well. Yep, here's the text. So we'll change it to say his name. Make it so it says Taylor Champion. And that fits nicely. Now when I play that lower thirds graphic, it comes right up. It says exactly what I want to say. The animations are still there. And it goes, it goes ahead and exits out just, just dandy. Just perfect. There's lots of different items here. There's callouts if you want to use uh, some of these callouts. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay. One's kind of cool. Let's look at one of the layouts. Okay, it's a bulleted list. Okay, I like this one. Let's go ahead and use this steps layout. Let's say once we introduce our character, let's say that he's going to talk about the different steps required. So we'll go ahead and put this layout on the timeline here. And we'll go ahead and ungroup it as well. All right. Now this is fairly short because it's just the demo piece. It's just the basics. So let's add step one. Step one is this one right here. So we'll ungroup this piece. And we'll edit the text to say that step one is, uh, we'll say it's to get a drink of water. So that's our process. So step one is to get a cup. Good. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and regroup this. Okay, we'll pull this down and let's ungroup this. And let's say that this step is to uh, put, get ice in your cup, get ice in your cup. Okay, we'll regroup these. Ungroup this one. This last step or the third step will be put water, or get water, we'll just say get water. And you see, I uh, I had both of these highlighted, so it added get water to both of these callouts. So we don't want that for this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and control Z. Here, step three. So now we'll just select this, put get water, and then for step four, enjoy. Excellent. Now I can match it up to the audio. Let's say that our character kept talking about um, how to get the water. So we could lengthen these out to whatever they need to be to match what he talks about. Let's see how that looks. like there was a small issue here. These didn't move together. Group those again. And they don't have to all come in at this time either. And you also notice that our layout background disappeared. I forgot to move that forward. Okay, so let's say that he's going to talk about step one for a very long time. Simply move these three backward. And now step three will stay, or step one will stay up there for as long as it needs to be. When he's finished talking about the cup, we can go ahead and add the next step. Get ice. We can add the next step, and you can infinitely edit that to meet your needs. All right, so let's watch this all the way through. Should probably edit the title so it uh, says something about what we're making our movie about. 
there. We're going to say drinking water. Make it a little wider. And then center it again. There we go. Okay. Drinking water. Here's Taylor, the champion. He's going to take us through the steps. Step one is to get a cup. And he might be talking about what kind of cup is good. And then next, get ice. And then to get water and then to enjoy it. And uh, we can, let's say we want to put a nice little uh, closing title on there. We can either reuse this title so it matches the first one. Or we can come and get a layout that's a full screen layout. Like this one. We'll use that layout as the final layout. So we'll scroll to the end, drag this uh, libzip file down here to the end. And it's all packaged up already. And we'll ungroup it and change the text again to say, and that is all. There, now we can watch the whole thing through. It'll play our title. And then our lower thirds graphic that we edited, uh, complete with animation. And then the closer. And that's how you can download and use themes or parts of themes like callouts, uh, layouts, or uh, lower thirds in libzip format when you download them from the eLearning Brothers website. Thanks.